In a peaceful village nestled among rolling hills and pristine forests, there existed a monastery known for its deep spiritual wisdom and the unparalleled tranquility of its surroundings. This monastery, named Shanti Sangha, was home to a group of monks who dedicated their lives to meditation, mindfulness, and the pursuit of enlightenment, the legend of the five ingredients. One of the most cherished legends in Shanti Sangha was the story of the five ingredients. It was said that these five elements, when combined into tea or coffee, could vanquish all diseases and bring unparalleled vitality to those who consumed them. This legend, passed down through generations, was shrouded in mystery and reverence. The story began with an ancient monk named Master Bodhanatha, who was renowned for his deep understanding of the healing arts. Master Bodhanatha spent decades in meditation, seeking a remedy that could alleviate the suffering of the villagers who frequently visited the monastery in search of solace and healing. Master Bodhanatha's Discovery One serene morning, after a particularly profound meditation session, Master Bodhanatha had a vision. In his vision, a celestial being appeared before him, emanating a radiant light that filled the entire room. The celestial being spoke in a gentle yet powerful voice, revealing the secret of the five ingredients, Master Bodhanatha, the celestial being intoned, the universe has bestowed upon you the knowledge of five sacred ingredients that, when combined, will heal all ailments. These ingredients are not mere plants or spices, but embodiments of the earth's most potent energies. Seek them with a pure heart, and you shall find them. With this divine revelation, Master Bodhanatha embarked on a quest to discover these ingredients. The journey was arduous and filled with trials, but his unwavering faith and determination guided him. The first ingredient, turmeric. The first ingredient revealed itself in a dense forest, where the roots of the turmeric plant glowed with a golden hue. Turmeric, known for its anti-inflammatory properties, symbolized the earth's healing embrace. Master Bodhanatha harvested the roots with great care, understanding the profound significance of this discovery. The second ingredient, ginger. The second ingredient, ginger, was found atop a mountain peak, where its spicy aroma filled the crisp air. Ginger, with its warming and soothing properties, represented the fiery spirit of the earth. Master Bodhanatha recognized its power to invigorate and rejuvenate the body, the third ingredient, cinnamon. The third ingredient, cinnamon, was hidden within an ancient tree in a secluded grove. The sweet and fragrant bark of the cinnamon tree symbolized the sweetness of life and the warmth of the sun. Master Bodhanatha carefully collected the bark, knowing its ability to balance blood sugar levels and improve circulation. The fourth ingredient, cardamom. The fourth ingredient, cardamom, was discovered in a lush valley, where its aromatic pods exuded a refreshing scent. Cardamom, known for its digestive and detoxifying properties, embodied the cleansing breath of nature. Master Bodhanatha gently harvested the pods, appreciating their ability to purify the body. The fifth ingredient, black pepper. The fifth and final ingredient, black pepper, was found in a hidden cave, where its pungent berries clung to the vines. Black pepper, with its ability to enhance the absorption of nutrients, represented the awakening of the senses. Master Bodhanatha carefully gathered the berries, understanding their role in unlocking the full potential of the other ingredients. Upon returning to Shanti Sangha, Master Bodhanatha meticulously combined the five ingredients, creating a harmonious blend that he named, the elixir of life. 
The monks of the monastery began incorporating the elixir into their daily tea and coffee rituals, experiencing remarkable transformations in their health and vitality. The monks, inspired by Master Bodhanatha's discovery, decided to share the elixir with the villagers. The elixir's fame spread far and wide, attracting pilgrims from distant lands who sought its healing properties. The monastery became a sanctuary of health and wellness, where the elixir was freely shared with all who visited. Among the many visitors to the monastery was a young woman named Maya, who had heard of the elixir's miraculous effects. Maya was a healer in her own village, known for her dedication to helping others. However, she struggled with her own health, battling fatigue and chronic pain. She came to Shanti Sangha hoping to find relief and perhaps some deeper understanding of the healing arts. Maya was welcomed warmly by the monks and soon began learning about the five ingredients. She spent her days in meditation and study, observing the monks as they prepared the elixir and distributed it to the villagers. Maya's curiosity led her to seek a private audience with the current abbot of the monastery, Master Jayendra. She expressed her desire to understand the deeper significance of the five ingredients and how they work together to create such profound healing. Master Jayendra, a wise and compassionate teacher, agreed to guide her. Maya, he began, the five ingredients are not just physical elements. They represent the harmony of the universe. Each ingredient embodies a different aspect of nature's wisdom. He continued, turmeric is the earth, grounding and stabilizing. Ginger is fire, igniting vitality. Cinnamon is the sun, warming and balancing. Cardamom is air, cleansing and refreshing. Black pepper is the spirit, awakening and enhancing. Together, they create a synergy that transcends their individual properties. The practice of mindfulness, Master Jayendra emphasized that the true power of the elixir lay not just in its ingredients but in the mindfulness and intention with which it was prepared and consumed. When you prepare the elixir, he instructed Maya, do so with a heart full of gratitude and a mind focused on healing. When you drink it, be fully present savoring each sip as a gift from the universe. Maya took these teachings to heart and began practicing mindfulness in her daily routines. She noticed that the act of preparing the elixir became a meditation in itself, a ritual that connected her to the earth and its healing energies. Healing and Transformation As days turned into weeks, Maya's health began to improve. Her fatigue lifted, and her pain diminished. She felt a renewed sense of energy and purpose. More than that, she experienced a profound shift in her consciousness, a deepening of her connection to the world around her. Inspired by her transformation, Maya decided to stay at Shanti Sangha longer, immersing herself in the study of the healing arts. She learned about herbal medicine, meditation, and the principles of holistic health. She realized that true healing encompassed not just the body but the mind and spirit as well, sharing the wisdom. After several months, Maya felt a calling to return to her village and share what she had learned. With Master Jayendra's blessing, she departed from Shanti Sangha, carrying with her the knowledge of the five ingredients and the principles of mindfulness and holistic healing. Back in her village, Maya began incorporating the elixir into her healing practices. She taught her patients about the importance of mindfulness and intention in their daily lives. She shared the story of the five ingredients, inspiring many to adopt healthier lifestyles. The villagers noticed significant improvements in their health and well-being. Maya's clinic became a center of healing and learning where people from all walks of life came to seek her wisdom and guidance. The Cycle of Giving 
Years passed, and Maya's reputation as a healer grew. She continued to return to Shanti Sangha periodically, deepening her practice and reconnecting with the monks who had become like family to her. Each visit renewed her spirit and enriched her knowledge, Maya's work created a ripple effect, as those she healed began to share their newfound wisdom with others. The story of the five ingredients and the principles of mindfulness spread far and wide, touching countless lives, a legacy of healing. One day, as Maya sat in meditation at her clinic, she reflected on her journey. She realized that the true gift of the five ingredients was not just their physical healing properties but the deeper wisdom they embodied. The elixir had taught her about the interconnectedness of all life, the power of intention, and the importance of living in harmony with nature, she felt a deep sense of gratitude for Master Bodhanatha, Master Jayendra, and all the monks of Shanti Sangha who had shared their wisdom with her. She knew that their teachings would continue to inspire and heal for generations to come, the legend of the five ingredients became a timeless tale of healing and transformation. It reminded people of the profound wisdom that nature holds and the importance of mindfulness and intention in every aspect of life, in the peaceful village nestled among rolling hills and pristine forests, the legacy of Shanti Sangha lived on. The monastery remained a sanctuary of tranquility and wisdom, where the elixir of life was prepared with love and shared with all who sought its healing power, and so, the story of the five ingredients continued to inspire, heal, and transform, a testament to the enduring power of nature's gifts and the timeless wisdom of the monks who discovered them. Thanks for watching. Hope enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Just click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Also, feel free to leave a comment and let me know what you'd like to see next. See you in the next video.